Hello, welcome back to Vault and Quick Guide. Today, let's talk about Gate 2. But before we start, as always, as a quick reminder that I do stream on Twitch so you can ask me any question there. Anyway, let's get started. Coming into this fight right away, you're gonna see these towers across the map. There will be a total of 4 of them, each with 2 blue up on top of them. Voltan will start the fight with a quick charge attack, and your goal here is to lead them into these towers. At the same time, the part of the leader should throw the corrosive bomb onto the Voltan in preparation for the upcoming destruction check. Uh, after Voltan charge and hit the tower, he'll get knocked down, and at this point, the rest of your party members should follow up with their destruction skill and bomb uh, to knock Voltan armor away. Same time, the blue orb will also fall to the ground, and each party member is gonna have to grab one orb by 130 line of Fulton HP. Your goal here is to knock both Fulton armor down by 130 line of HP, but also make sure that each party member have the orb buff on you for the upcoming mechanics. At 130 line, when Voltan becomes immune to damage, he'll do a giant pizza attack that you need to immediately dodge. Uh, if you dodge this successfully and you have the blue orb buff on you, then you can survive the upcoming attack. So every single party member need to do this, uh, dodging the attack and having a blue orb buff. If you're not confident that your entire party can do the mechanics though, using Balfour here is a great choice, especially for Pug, since this completely skipped the entire mechanics. This also means you don't have to take the orb or worry about the orb uh, because the entire mechanic is skipped it. During phase 1 of Voltan, he will also do one major attack where he will jump up and start throwing axe down to the arena. Uh, the easiest way to dodge this is just to run in circle. Uh, but the thing to note is that he will also follow up with a giant AoE attack that you have to be on the edges of the arena to dodge. But only if that edge is uh, opened up, which means he has to previously attack it. The next major mechanics happen at around 110 line HP-ish, where Voltan will jump to the middle and follow up with a pizza attack once again, uh, before we jump into a quick cutscene. These pillars will spawn across the map, and each of your party members need to hide behind a pillar away from the center, but one of your players is going to get targeted by a red cone from Voltan. For him, he'll have to direct the red cone away from its other party member and then dodge out of it last second to behind a pillar. Although you could also just use time stop once you have leave the red zones. The same attack will immediately happen again except you don't have to hide behind a pillar this time. Uh, except when the pillar get hit by a red cone, they'll start exploding from the pillar that got hit first, so watch out for that. Moving on to 90 HP bar, Voltan will jump up and destroy one side of the map. He'll then follow with a spin attack and then into spawning the pillar once again and it's the exact same thing as before where you have to hide behind a pillar. After the first pillar wave, uh, he'll also do the exact same red cone attack uh, targeted at one of your party members, uh, so we'll have to direct it away from other people, and then the pillar will start exploding just like what you have seen exactly previously. The next major mechanics will happen at around 60 bar where he will once again jump toward the middle. He'll then first attack the ground below you, so spread and watch out. A short cutscene will then play and he'll immediately follow up with a counterable charge after 3 seconds, so here you would count to 3 and then hit him with a counter to complete this mechanics. Moving on to 30 HP bar, Voltan will jump up to the sky again and destroy the other side of the arena. You want to run as far as well as possible onto the edges, remember that you cannot actually walk off uh, because you don't want to get hit by the spin attack. Uh, and then the same thing where he will spawn 4 pillars, so you just want to hide behind a pillar and he will follow it up with a red cone attack. Um, here though, because you don't have that much space to dodge, the easiest way to dodge this is to run toward the uh, pillar that first explodes, uh, like so on the screen right now. Uh, just be careful of any follow-up attack as the arena is now small, so you have higher chance of getting knocked off. Final mechanics happen at 16 HP bar, where he will jump up to the sky and then land into the middle. Um, here, he will follow up with four cone attacks starting from the front, to the back, to the left, and to the right of him. A lot of AOD will start appearing from the ground, and uh, you can walk in clockwise to dodge these together, or you can time stop it. He'll then punch the area in front of him, followed by uh, AOD attack on the remaining area, so you want to dodge out and then in. And then the same pillar will spawn again with the yellow attack, so you want to hide behind the pillar, uh, and finally head to the area where there isn't a pillar as the pillar will once again explode. You'll notice that I didn't hide behind a pillar and didn't get knocked off, and that is because we used a Balfour here to prevent the knockdown. Uh, Balfour here is generally preferred as it increased your survivability a lot. Ghost Volton will then appear, and this is the final showdown against Volton. Uh, you'll notice that Volton start with 6 stack of armor, however, you can remove them by countering the 
ghosts that get sent out. So ghosts that appear from the middle of Molten Body will be counterable immediately after they start attacking. Uh, it is essential that you counter every single one of these as they will remove Molten Armor stack but also increase your Cyril gauges a lot. With the counter mechanics helping you fill up your gauges as well as removing his armor, what you can do here is use Firing to help you push damage to finally finish him off for good. And this is the entire Volton fight. With that being said though, let's cover the major attack that are really deadly for our Volton fight. It will not cover every single one, just the one that are more mechanically challenging or deadly. Number one thing to know about Volton's attack is that every time he does his bow rush charging animation, it will be a counter bow charge, uh, so be sure to counter it for free DPS. Volton will start this attack with silence and then hold his axe up. Uh, if the axe is glowing, then it will attack inside and if the axe is not glowing then it will attack outside so dodge accordingly. Make sure to move away immediately after dodging to avoid the AOD on the ground. Bolton will go into this charging animation with one hand out and any player that get caught in the charge will get grabbed and most likely get thrown out on the map. Uh, otherwise you have to stay next to him to dodge the upcoming yellow attack that will also blow you off. Bolton holding the axe with two hands signal a counter attack so immediately stop attacking as well as walk next to the handle to dodge the upcoming follow up attack. Uh, in this one, Bolton holds his hand out and kind of channel like an orb. Uh, he grants a high damage shield so you have to first break the shield by doing a lot of damage and then finally use all your stagger skills to finish the stagger bar off. Bolton will jump up to the sky and do this throwing axe attack that you have seen in phase 1 but much shorter and the safe zone will also be on him instead of on the edges of the map this time. Bolton will spawn 4 orb across the map that need to be collected otherwise they will explode. Um, at the same time he will also do a counterable charge in the middle so someone have to go up and counter him. Bolton will lead out with a raw followed by 3 of your party member being rooted. I uh, quickly free them out otherwise they will explode and do big AOE damage to everyone. Flame grenade could help a lot here so be sure to use those. Member Pizza is an attack where the ground side going red in order of the attack. So after the first Pizza, uh, dodge toward the first Pizza to avoid the follow up Pizza attack. Bolton do a small roll followed by holding his axe with one hand. This is a triple counter attack and it's kind of tricky to do. Um, he'll do a counter attack but the person who counter it will get a silence aura around him. So if you're not countering, move away from the party like what I did here and then the next person walk up and attempt the second counter. And then the silence happen again and the person who got counter uh, walk away and finally he does it one last time but this time if you fail it'll wipe. So everyone who haven't countered walk up and try to counter the last one. It's very very important that you hit it. In hard mode you also see these orb. Uh, make sure or try not to touch these orb because they'll explode and make countering much harder uh, like what you've been seeing in the footages. Those are most of the major Bolton attack as well as his mechanics. Uh, so now you're ready to take down Bolton. As usual, I'm more of a believer of um, trying it out. It's better than watching a video. Uh, so after trying it once or twice, maybe an hour or two, you should be able to get it. So good luck out there and I'll see you guys next time. So as always, don't forget to follow the channel and my Twitch and I'll see you all next time.